Hey everyone, Jared here. Welcome to your drum lesson video today. We are gonna be learning how to hold the drumsticks and the four types of drum strokes. So here we go. You're gonna take your drumstick and the first thing that we're gonna do is find the balance point on the drumstick. Okay, and here's how we do that. We're going to grip the stick at the very back with our index finger and our thumb and we're gonna just drop the stick repeatedly on our drum pad or your drum and we're gonna slowly move our grip towards the middle of the stick and we're gonna stop where we feel like we're getting the most rebound from our drum stick, okay? That's the balance point on the stick and so we wanna find that. So here we go. All right, starting to get more rebound, you can see there. Ooh, <laughs> lots of rebound right there. Okay, I think we found it. So um, generally speaking, when you are looking at your drumstick, your balance point is gonna be about a third of the way up the drumstick and you're just gonna put your thumb there and then just wrap your other fingers around, okay? And that's your basic grip. So you don't wanna grip the sticks too tightly, um, but you're also not really super loose. The stick shouldn't have a ton of room to like wobble, wobble around here between your fingers and the inside of your hand. You wanna keep that space um, kind of small so that you can get really consistent strokes and you don't have to worry about dropping the drumstick or anything like that. Um, as we start to do this, one of the things you wanna watch out for is that your uh, pinkies don't come off the drumsticks and you play like that. <laughs> That's a pretty common um, thing to do, but we wanna keep all our fingers on the drumsticks all the time, okay? So once we uh, put our thumbs and our index fingers around the balance point on our stick, we're just gonna wrap the rest of our fingers around and we're just going to um, make a right angle with our drumsticks, okay? And then center that and then just come down to the drum. Okay, so you should have a pretty nice uh, wide angle here. Not super wide, um, but not, your sticks definitely shouldn't be parallel for this, okay? Um, if you look down at your hands, you should see the tops of your hands, okay? Not like this, with your thumbs on top. We don't want that um, yet. There are different kinds of grips, but for now, this is the basic grip we want. So, just quick recap, balance point, fingers on, right angle, center it, hands down to the drum, and you're good to go. So now let's talk about the four types of drum strokes. Uh, these four strokes comprise every pattern and every lick and every drum fill and everything that we're gonna do on the drums, okay? Um, everything is made up of different combinations of these four strokes. So the first type of stroke is called a full stroke or a rebound stroke, okay? And the way to think about that is the stick is gonna start and end at the same height, okay? And um, these can be really loud or they can be kind of soft, but the rebound stroke is start and end high. So you basically just wanna throw the stick down and let it rebound back up to you on its own. Um, once you get these going, it should kind of feel like dribbling, like you're dribbling a ball. That's what the uh, full strokes or the rebound strokes should feel like. You're just throwing the stick down and letting it come back up to you. When you practice these, you want to make sure that um, each hand is nice and even. Okay, you want to try to have the same full strokes for uh, both sides, okay? So you should feel like no tension in your hand or anything like that. Just nice and relaxed, just dribble the stick, okay? So that's the full stroke. Now, the second stroke is called a down stroke, and this is where we're going to use the inside part here of our hand as the brakes to stop the stick after we hit the drum. So a downstroke starts up like this and then we hit the drum and then we stop, we squeeze the brakes and we don't allow the stick to travel back to the starting position like we did on the full stroke. So here we go, downstrokes look like this. OK, 
Okay, so our stick afterwards should be like just hovering kind of above the surface of the drum. Okay, the third type of stroke is called a tap stroke. All right, and these are just strokes that are low to the surface of the drum. So they start low and they end low. Okay, that's the tap stroke. The last stroke, this is a really important one, is the up stroke. Okay, so this is how we go from a low stroke back to a uh, starting position of like a full stroke or a down stroke. Okay, so up strokes, um, you're gonna start low and end high. Now, the way you wanna do this, you can just pull the stick back up straight from your wrist but that's not the most efficient way to do it, especially at faster speeds. What you really wanna do is um, basically imagine that you're pulling your hand up from your wrist like this, and as your wrist starts to come up, you get that little tap. And now you're prepped and ready again for a full stroke or a down stroke. So we start down here and then we get ready, that's our upstroke. Okay, so it comes from, basically you're gonna bend your elbow a little bit, and as you bend your elbow, your wrist is gonna droop, it's nice and relaxed, and you get that little tap stroke. Okay, so here's how you wanna practice this. We are gonna put those four strokes, full strokes, down strokes, tap strokes, and up strokes, just in a little sequence, and they um, just repeat over and over. And uh, you'll notice that each stroke like preps you and leads you into the next stroke. So here's what I mean. Just watch, and um, when you feel ready, you can try to play along. So here we go. We got a full stroke, down stroke, tap stroke, up stroke. Full stroke, down stroke, tap stroke, up stroke. So it's gonna kind of have this um, sound of like two louder hits and then two softer hits. Da, 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 da. Okay, so let's see if we can kind of do that smoothly with each hand. Full, down, tap, up. Full, down, tap, up. Full, down, tap, up. Full, down, tap, up. Left hand. Full, down, tap, up. 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 Okay, so uh, go ahead and try to play along with me now in this next example. We're gonna start really slow and just kinda go from a slow speed to kind of a medium speed one hand at a time. Full, down, tap, up. Full, down, tap, up. Full, down, tap, up. Full, down, tap, up. Pull, 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 down, tap, up, 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 pull, down, tap, up. Pull, down, tap, up. 